Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful day out on the water. We just left Itoman Port out of the south side of Okinawa, Japan. Right now, we're out trolling, trying to catch some marlin. Because our mate was telling me this morning that they've caught six marlin in the past six days. Once we finish trolling, it'll be about an hour and a half from now, we'll be out drift fishing, looking for some mahi-mahi, and looking for some tuna. Wish me luck. Can't wait to get out there. As we approached our drift fishing location, almost instantly one of our trolling rods got hit with what looked to be a pretty sizable mahi mahi. Oh my god! Yeah! Remember that time our mate got pulled in by a mahi? He wrapped my lure around the prop. Oh, for real? Since the trolling rods got hit so quickly, the captain and the mate decided to do another lap around with the trolling rods before we started our drift. Yeah. All right, here, back up, back up, back up. Stay away from the pointy ends. Nice, dude. Yeah. Wahoo are one of the fastest fish in the ocean, as well as one of the tastiest. So I was super stoked to see that some were gonna be around today. Now that we were at the spot, it was time to drift fish. The first thing I wanted to do was drop a vertical jig and see what was down below us. On the drop, on the drop ate the jig. Literally on the drop, 50 meters down, I just feel it go. Don't! <laughs> hmm. really like that flicking in yeah, the literally, I mean, it was just fluttering, I guess. Yeah. I was about to drop that shit on a butterfly, right? Yeah. So, I'm watching my line go out. Every 10 meters, it changes color, so at about 50 meters, I feel it get hit. Wasn't even jigging it, still letting it fall. But some critter ate it. It's acting real weird. Tail wrap? Possibly, I don't know. Wahoo swam through my line. Yeah, I had a high loss of two yesterday. Yeah, normal normally with Wahoo it's just like you drop it and just immediately cut. Well unless you hook them. Yeah. But even with those unless you have like the, the steel uh assist hooks. I've had them cut right through that cord before. If I get real excited, you know, you'll know it's a Wahoo. Yeah, right. They had a yeah. good run. It's probably maybe 10 pounder. Definitely wrapped or hooked in the face or something like that. It feels like it's just spinning. No way. On the vertical jig. Snagged him. Never caught a Wahoo on a uh, jig before, but just literally dropping it down, he took a slash out of it, and I, uh, you can see I hooked him in the belly there. It's the only reason he can get cut off. But that is, that's super cool. Really cool. Thank you. Let's go around two, see if we can get a uh, 
another fish on the drop or uh, catch something on this jig. I'm gonna let it out. Probably up to about 100. Up, oh, Mahi under the boat. Yeah, get a bait out. There we go. All these fish are coming from that thing right there. It's called a pie out. Basically a giant buoy with a giant chain attached to it. Which creates a whole lot of habitat for all these fish. So that was super awesome. Really didn't expect to catch a wahoo on a vertical jig, let alone hook it right in the freaking belly. I've, I've never seen a fish get hooked in the belly like that and then have it tear all the way down its body. Kind of, kind of freaky, but nonetheless, super stoked. Never caught a wahoo on anything other than trolling, so awesome. Now I'm gonna try my best to sight fish the biggest mahi-mahi out of the school. In between drifts, we'd still put out trolling rods, and sure enough, the wahoo and the mahi were out in full force. It's too good to be Good job, boy, man. man. Awesome. Yeah. Fish is too big. It doesn't fit in the frame. Dude. Nope. On the next drift, I wanted to primarily target mahi mahi with a lift plug. Now I've caught plenty of mahi in my time, and I know one thing: when you bring them in the boat, they are going to lose it. They're going to freak out. Small ones, big ones, whatever. If there are treble hooks flying around, you're in danger and so is it everyone else on the boat. So on this plug that I was using, I made the call to switch it to inline single hooks. And you'll see that a uh, part of me came to regret that decision. Just like that. Oh, they're all over. Yeah. Look at them all. You came up and crushed the plug. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm just letting him play out while you guys are messing with. We won't actually land that one. I'm going to let this guy go. There we go. Perfect. Just try and find a bigger one. There's a million swimming around the boat. Oh, 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 look at them all. He popped off. Hey, you guys, pitch one out. There's fish all around the boat right now. Go, back, go all the way. <laughs> I got a nice mahi right here. Let's get this in the water. Yeah, drop that guy. Look, he's he's ready to eat. Right See him? Thanks, brother. There's a lot of mahi. They're gonna fight. Oh, crap back. fish are gonna eat your bait. You want to try and pre gaff him because yeah. he's literally just chilling. He's trying to eat the lure out of this one's mouth. Get him! Oh! <laughs> Dude, I was like literally playing keep away with them, just reeling it on top. They're just crushing it. I'll pitch to him real quick. Like you said, this is the size. That's a bunch of pricks. This is the size that likes to act like a prick. All right, we're gonna throw this guy out there. There's a million and one mahi swimming around the boat. Let's see if we can catch another one. Ho, 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 they're fired up. Try and pick up, try and pick the bigger one out of the group. Oh, the little one got him.
<laughs> oh my god, there's so many of them. This is so cool. Come on, let it go, buddy. Trying to pitch one of these bigger ones. Lots of small ones in the area. Dang it! I'm gonna grab it. Are we pulling our lines in? No, come up. Put them out. Come up. Let me get you. Oh no! What? What the? This is what I was talking about when I said I would come to regret the single hook decision on the plug. The bull mahi kept eating the bait from the top, and it's just the way he was eating it, he wasn't getting those hooks in his mouth properly. So come on. every time I would set the hook, it seemed like it would just pull out. If I left it and let him eat it a little bit, he would spit it out being a hard bait. It didn't feel natural to him. I hooked that big one like four times. You know how I told you I wanted to go single hook so it's safer? The single hooks kind of suck for hooking them. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. Well, they're, so they're eating it sideways. I set the hook and it just kind of like rips it out of their mouth. A single inline hook in the back. Oh. So then when they come from the side, they get like a solid hook up. Gotcha. Woohoo! <laughs> Having already filled the box with the mahi that I wanted to bring home for the day, the next couple hours I spent essentially just playing with the mahi-mahi around the boat. All of the little ones were super fired up on the plug, so I was throwing it out, reeling it back really quickly, and if I hooked him, it was honestly by accident. I kept in the back of my mind in case a real big one showed back up, but I had such an awesome time playing around with these things.
Get a bad shot, yeah. I'll... Gave him a little, uh, couple scars right there. <laughs> I didn't have a few dogs. Nah. <laughs> the tuna all seem to be down pretty deep, so that's why trying to get the vertical jig pretty far down. Not seeing a whole lot of bites, not seeing a whole lot of size to the tuna, but man, tuna is absolutely one of my favorite fish to eat, so really hoping that I can get one and complete what we're gonna call the Okinawa Slam. It's a wahoo, a mahi, and a tuna. What's a grand slam, you ask? You add a marlin to that. So hopefully on the troll back today, we catch one of those as well. Keep the line left. Tuna on our mind, we left the Maki grounds and headed to a spot known to produce good amounts of yellowfin. We also picked up our fifth wahoo of the day while trolling to that next spot. Probably snagged a trigger fish, you know. Wasn't super far down. I think I was only like 50, 60 meters. Same size, little football. Flip or die. Uh, sorry, should have told you. Yeah, I'm worried about hooks going in your hands. I am. Hold them up real quick. a solid haul of mahi, wahoo, and tuna. 
all sitting behind me ready to get laid up. Honestly, it is just such a cool, cool experience to be able to see all this life in Okinawa, Japan, and just really the crazy fishery that they have here. Y'all, that is all the time I'm gonna have today. I got a whole lot of fish to clean and a long drive to have, so if you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. And I'll catch you guys in that next video. See ya.